Hey, yo, what's up? Okay, so the Hunter Talents just got released, and I know, before I say anything, I know that this is like one of the first builds, it's very early alpha, I know things are gonna change. I just wanna give my, uh, give my opinion on this, knowing that I, it's probably gonna be changing in the future. Just, just a heads up. Okay, so I'll begin with the with the hunter tree. So there's a lot of things you can actually kind of do. Well, not really, but kind of at the same time. So concussive shot, we still don't know if it uses with a ranged weapon, but I'm just assuming that you can for the sake of the video. Uh, then you go kill shot, post haste, uh, really cool. Counter shot, which is actually muscle if you're playing survival. Um, and then I don't recommend going improved kill shot mainly because the way that you reset kill shot for survival is really weird, but I can go in into that later. Uh, natural mending seems pretty good. Trank shot seems pretty good. Trout hard trap seems pretty good. Scatter shot. The fact that you get scatter shot. Now this is if you can use it with a melee weapon. I don't know. I guess you know time will tell for sure. But uh, getting scatter shot is super super cool. This is. It's hard to say how good this is for survival. Like, it, this is unbelievable. Unbelievably good. Um, and then camouflage. Uh, you can go agile movement. But the thing is here, so... I feel like having this is kind of bad compared to, ex in, you know, improved exhale. So you probably just go improved exhale anyway. So now you get to choose between knock trap and in team. Kind of sad you don't get both, but... You know, it is what it is. You just go in team here. Uh, now to advance down further to the tree. You could go into thick heights to get the uh, improvement pet. But then again, it's hard to really know how good this is going to be. Because I don't know if men pet is going to be... You know, could it be 35, 25? From the wording, it seems like it's going to be 25% of your pet's HP. So then if you have three points, it becomes a hundred. That's that's what I'm assuming. But I, I could be wrong. But I'll assume that it's 25 baseline. Which means that man pet is going to be 25% of your pet over 10 seconds. So you kind of need to go thick highs and then at least some points. I don't know how many points, but we'll see. Um, Serpent thing, for sure really good. Um, so the one thing here is... I'll, I'll make like a Viper's Venom build, but you can also make like a Latent Poison build. But I'll start off with the Viper's Venom here. Explosive seems pretty good as well. Um, I don't know about the scaling, but if it's the same scaling as from right now, where I think it's 200% of your uh, attack power, that would be like, in current health, where you have around 85k HP, that's like 16k. So, maybe around like 15% of someone's HP. If it stays around that, then, you know, like around the 15 to 20% of someone's health, probably around like the 12 to 15% of someone's HP, then for sure it's going to see play, but you don't have to play this talent. Um, then to advance further down the tree, I would recommend getting improved traps. This is with uh, thinking that traps are going to be a 30 second CD, so making them 25 means you can trap off the R, so therefore this is going to be really good. Um, then I would recommend going into Nesting Wary Apparatus, mainly so you can just go into like these two things. Um, this alone is also going to be pretty decent, just for the focus that you maintain. I'll show you kind of why, because I wouldn't necessarily recommend Alpha Predator with the build that I'm going over here. But uh, And then this would be you know, either Chakrams or Death Chakrams. I don't know which one is better here, it just depends on, on the scaling of them. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just going... Death Chakrams, but I mean, this could be regular Chakrams. I don't know. Then Steel Trap. Pretty cool. And now we have one thing left. So this is kind of what I would say is like, from what, I, what I'm what i assuming, this seems to be one of the, uh, the better ones that I could think of. Uh, so now with the one point, you know, you can put this into Improved Kill Shot if you really want to. But I, I think probably just put this into improved ment pet. So your ment pet is 75%. But then again, I don't know if this is too much overkill. This could very well be too much overkill, having two points here. But maybe one point is enough. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can't really put it this here because this is like really bad. Maybe having barrage could be kind of fun depending on the on the scaling. 
But uh, this one last point doesn't really matter too much. You can send it maybe into Beastmaster 2. But it's only 3%. Uh, this one last point I'm not really too sure of. MD doesn't necessarily seem worth it. Because it only seems good with this. But I feel like you have to sacrifice way too much damage for for you to be able to pick this on. You know, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, this one can kind of just go in anywhere. But for the sake of the video, I'll just put it inside meant pet fear but you know this could be like anything else so i'll talk about the talents that i didn't pick so i didn't necessarily pick trailblazer you could maybe put one point here but i don't think it's worth it um again i don't think kill shot improved is worth it uh just because of the fact that you won't be able to get that many kill shots off misdirection doesn't necessarily seem worth it because you need three talents to make it kind of worth it um, improved Trank Shot. You're not really going to have focus problems, I don't think, so I don't recommend going this. Uh, Scare Beast requires you to play this, so it's a little bit awkward. Born to be Wild, 7%. So, per point spent, if Turtle is a one, is a 3 minute CD, so that's um, 180 times 0 0.91. So, you are... No, this is 7% per. Okay, yeah, wait, never mind, this is uh, 73 Oops. Okay, so you're, you're taking 12 and a half seconds off per point spent. 12 and a half seconds off your turtle and Shira. I mean, then again, it will affect Eagle, but then again, I don't, I don't even know if you'll go Eagle. Um, so this one could also be a possibility. Or maybe Barrage. I don't know. I mean, it's the beta. Things can change. But uh, this is going to be my melee build, that I would say. And then I'll go Raptor Strike, Ferocity, because you have to pick it to go Bomb, Harpoon, and then you have to go Improved Harpoon, because I would not actually recommend going Predator. Spending 3 points to get this, this seems so pointless when you can see later down the road what you can get for 3 points. So I, at the moment I would not recommend it at all. So I would just go Improved Harpoon, so you get 10 seconds CD on, on your Harpoon. Uh, Bloodseeker, so you can go down into Lunge. Now, Lunge is going to be one of your better, one of your better talents. Having three extra yards is actually insane. So, for sure, three points in this. Guerrilla Tactics is a must. Um, so here's the thing, right? To get Mongoose Bite, either you put three points into Tip of the Spear, but 3 points into Tip of the Spear is actually a lot of points, and you're not really getting that much value out of it. So I would actually say that I, I would recommend, in terms of engagement, with this build in mind. Uh, Mongus Bite, Flanking Strikes for sure. So, now is the part of the video where I have to talk about the glaring issues about the Survival Hunter talent tree. Is that everything here is just damage. But it doesn't even make any sense. Okay, so think about it, this one. Improved Wildfire Bombs is 8% damage per point spent. But this one is 10% bomb damage per, per point spent. So, let's say if you want to make a bomb build, you play maybe something like this. It's more damage to remove a talent that increases your bomb damage... To go this one. Is, is You guys can see how stupid this is. Why is this one just better than this? In any way. Like in every way. Like why? I, like why is it so? Yeah, I, I don't know man. Um, and also I feel like every talent here is just so weird. Like it's just more damage. Like okay look at this one. So. 5% mongoose by damage per point spent. 5% per mongoose bite per point. So you would do the same damage if you have like 2 here, 1 there. This is the same damage as like doing 1 here and then 2 here. Wh why? It's so weird. It, it felt like they put zero effort into the survival. Like why is it just more damage? And why does everything is like out of 3? Like, where are my options? It's like, this is... Why do I need three points to increase the damage of my Mongoose Bite? Two points 
to increase the damage of my mongoose bite. Five points to increase the damage of my wildfire bomb. Like what even is this? It's such an abomination of like a I, I don't know man. So I would say you play this probably. Um, we can probably drop some here. Um, I'll show you why later. Um, you need positions so you get a 6% crit because oh boy oh boy spearhead. So this is gonna like kind of replace your coordinated assault. So it's just like a dash uh, and then you know you just do more damage. Well your pet does more damage and then your mongoose bite and raptor strikes uh, apply like a bleed to the target. Which is I mean kind of cool but I mean then again it's like a dash so you know this seems pretty sick. Uh, coordinated assault might be one of the most confusing things I have ever read. So, okay. So it's now a charge. I'm I, I'm going to assume it's a uh, it's still a two minute cooldown. And it, it only affects your carve and your kill shot. So in PvP, this is completely useless because the only way you can get kill shot. Is to first you have to spec three points into Predator to get a 25% chance for your kill command to reset. And then you also need three points in the deadly duo. Which makes it that whenever your kill command resets, you have a 15% chance to reset the CD of kill shots and making it usable at any target. But the issue here is that it's a 15% chance when it resets, and it resets every 25, you know, like one in four. So, it's 0.25 times 0.15, it's a 3.75% chance every time you press kill command to get a kill shot proc. What? But like, it's so bad. It's so bad. This is also why I'm not going... Improved kill shot, by the way, because this is like the biggest disgrace of a talent I have ever seen. Also, one thing that I'm really confused about. Why have these two talents not swapped places? So look here, right? In this row, we have the Raptor Strike and Mongoose Bite damage, you know, everything. like This is like encouraging you to just press Mongoose Bite. And if you want to press Mongoose Bite, you want to, you know, then you want to go... You want more focus because you want to have you want to pull more focus you can get your raptor tracks off but why is it over here why is the kill command talent over here but you, you wouldn't even go the kill command because this is you're not really pressing kill command unless you want to go predator here as well and so now you can make like a like a kill command build but i, I feel like you're putting too many points over here because now you want to press kill command but then you want to have deadly do so you actually get rewarded for pressing kill command but then you can't have this it's so bad why why just sw swap places i mean you wouldn't go it anyway I, I don't think but at least have give the option kind of i don't know it's really we weird and wanky so i would not actually recommend this probably just put some points into sharp edges just just so you can go eagle um, there is the argument you could maybe drop eagle for more bomb damage, but I feel like in general having eagle could be kind of sick. Maybe. Um, this is the one thing that I'm kind of, you know, kind of thinking about. But the one thing that I kind of hate a little bit about the survival hunter talents is the fact that you don't have, like, the options that you have is so based on numbers, and it's not really based on anything else. You know. Like, rogues have, like, really cool things where they can pick between, like, oh, man, do I want to have deeper or do I want to have, uh, you know, like, all the, the other stuff. Like, actual abilities. And I get to pick between, okay, do I want to have 8% bomb damage or 5% raptor strike damage? Hmm, do I want to drop this 5% damage for maybe, like, 8% more on my bomb? Maybe I want to drop my eagle for 8% additional damage on my bomb. And I can drop the crit damage for five percent more damage. Actually, what if what if we keep eagle, but then I remove one yard of my spell? 
to get 5% more damage. Well, actually, what if I remove one 5% damage to get one more yard? You know, like this is so stupid. Like the way that, it, like that, these talents interact. This is like the one thing that I hate. I hate this one, this one, this, and this. I everything else, I it's kind of good. I don't know. It's so janky. Please, Blizzard. I okay. I here's here's my here's what I want. Okay. I want coordinated assault to not suck. I want this to be a cooldown that does something, please. Because at the moment it's like turbo useless. If this is actually gonna be a two minute cooldown charge, does nothing else, then you will never play it. I guess in PvE, but I don't know. And then these, like just rework this entire row. Like what even is this? Why do we have to spend three points in lunch? What's the point? Why are we spending three points? Why can't it just be one? Like rogues have. I look like look what rogues have. Acrobatic here. Why is this just one? Increases your range by, by three yards. So like why do we have to spend three like it's so awkward to spend three points here. Cause if we do then it's like, okay, do I want to have, you know, like one more yard or 5% more damage? Like, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Do I, do I, do I want to sacrifice? I, okay, you guys, like, okay, you, 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 I, I feel like I've gotten my, my points across, but this entire row was like an abomination and I hope that they do something to change it. Uh, but then on the, on the other hand, if this like melee scaling is pretty bad, um, you could also go some like ranged build. So I was thinking uh, something like this for a ranged build. Actually, I can just do this and then ba -ba -ba -bam. reset this. So this is probably gonna change. So you would go something more like uh, removing this, removing this. You put points into Beastmaster, so you can now go Improved Kill Command. Um, so you can take Alpha Predator. Now, with Alpha Predator, what you can actually do is maybe... Well, if this would be like a more ranged type of build, you could maybe go Latent Poison instead, so you have like a bigger incentive to, to be melee range. Perhaps, maybe. Um, and then about the Hunter Trees, you would probably just kind of play something similar. I still don't think that Predator is worth it. It could be. Actually, let's let's think about it. If this would be worth it. So let's say you go... Well, I guess you're comparing it. Yeah, maybe you don't need the Harpoon cooldown, actually. Which means you go tip the spear. Uh, this is kind of awkward to really go... Because you kind of want to have this in that case. So you have to go Mongoose Bite. Even though Mongoose Bite kind of has like an anti-synergy with a ranged build. So let's see here. You would go Gorilla. Improved Bomb is pretty good. Uh, sharp Edges so you can go more into Eagle. Well now you would just go this into this so you get this as well. Okay, so I refuse to believe in any galaxy that you would ever go Deadly Duo. I actually refuse to pick this talent, just because it's so abhorrent. But speaking of bad talents, I don't know if you guys have seen. Coordinated kill might just be the worst talent I've ever seen anyone uh, has even like thought of. Okay, so your next kill command has a 100% crit chance after resetting while coordinated assault is active. Okay, so... So your your generator that maybe does like two thousand damage has a hundred percent chance to crit every twenty five percent of the chance during your cooldown. That has no synergy with kill command. You guys see how stupid this is? You are spending three points here, one point, and then an, an additional three points here. 
to make your generator, which does almost no damage, that you're only pressing to get more focus, to make that crit. What? Who thought this was a good idea? I don't. I. I don't understand. This is so unbelievably bad. It makes no sense. Also, this makes no sense at all. Because do you guys know the like you have to you have to drop this just so you can do this. But if okay to make this worth it, you have to go deadly duo. Deadly duo. I I mean I guess you could play this. Oh, but this seems so bad. This seems so bad. <laughs> so if you're comparing this build to this one, for example. So you're missing out on Eagle, like 15% more damage here, like 10% more damage here, and then Mongoose Bite. So this build is like permanent coordinated assault, almost, in comparison to this one, kind of, a bit. You know what I mean? Like why? I think you'd probably just go this, maybe. Well, maybe you would... I think you'd probably just drop this. I don't know, this seems good. I think maybe... Well, I guess this is, like, based on scaling, you know? Like, maybe it's actually better to have... 5% <laughs> Mongoose Bite damage than 8% Bomb damage. Oh, dude, the fact that I'm, like, comparing these talents, it just makes me so sad. Dude, I don't know. I think this just seems kind of bad. Okay, also, okay, so I might sound a bit uh, disappointed, but overall, I am very happy because you get the ranged increase with scatter and explosive and, like, death track ramps and, like, steel trap and, like, shack ramps and, like, nesting very, you know? Like, everything here I like. It's just... Like, why does it have to be so many damage talents? And why do I have to pay, like, three points in everything? And, like, why is it so awkward to get Eagle? And uh, why is Coordinated Assault not even a talent? Why is our reset mechanic so bad? Why do we have the worst talent to ever have been, like, written anywhere? Who made this? I don't know. I, this is, I don't know. Fury of the Eagle, I guess, is kind of cool, but I'm just not. I'm just not. Not too sure. This should just swap places. Yeah. So I wish that they just reworked the Survival Hunter tree. But um, I mean, everything else. Pretty, pretty good. So I'll give the Hunter tree. Compared to the, you know, to the other trees, I'm gonna give this a solid A+. I think they have done a pretty great job. Only thing that I don't like is the fact that you have to go useless talent to get more crit. But, you know, I would kind of want to have this crit, especially with this one, so I would have 12% baseline. But if I want to have this, I have to drop, like, Steel Trap, <laughs> so... You know what? I'm not uh, not too sure if I'll do that, but yeah. And then, yeah, it's just this entire. I've I've been talking way too much about it, but yeah, it's late at night. I just wanted to rant about these gosh darn talents are gonna make me lose my mind. Uh, so hopefully they will change. I I, I hope that they will. Uh, but yeah, that's my my impression about the talents. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you yeah. Whatever, you know what, what they say in, in outros and stuff. Okay, I bye. Take care. Peace out. Uh, yeah.